Hey YouTube, it's your girl Brina Cole and I'm back with another video and this is going to be a quick video on some things I wish I knew before I started nursing school, um, both LPN and RN school. I went to nursing school twice for those of you who don't know. Um, I was an LPN for three years and then I went back to school and got my RN degree. So these are just a list of things that I wish I would have known before I even started the whole process so i'm going to go over some things with you guys first thing i'm going to talk about is the amount of studying that you have to do when you are in nursing school it is a very hard transition from taking your traditional courses um versus your nursing courses because like with the traditional classes you don't have to study as much for the test you can literally study the night before the test and make good in nursing school you cannot do that i tried it and i would not recommend it um do not try to study a day or even like two days before a test unless you are just really smart because you will not do good um you're gonna have to study as soon as you get this content in class and your teacher says like hey the test is going to be in three weeks um we're starting the new content for this test today you're going to have to study a little bit each day in nursing school yes a little bit each day because it is so much material one test can consist of like five chapters so you are going to have to study a lot in nursing school the tests aren't chapter by chapter like any other traditional class it's like big chunks all put into one test because you have such a short time to learn this material that they can't go chapter by chapter because you would be in school forever if they did it that way so one test can be three to five chapters depending on what all you're learning for that test so that's why i would say it is a big like learning curve because you're going from studying one to two nights before a test to having to study like two three weeks for a test so that can be a lot different for some people to get used to because it was very hard for myself i had to give up a lot of free time i wasn't able to do a lot of the things i was doing before nursing school because it is very time consuming the second thing i would like to say is it is very time consuming just like the first um thing i talked about you're going to have to study a little bit each day. Um, so you're going to have to give up a lot of things that you were not used to giving up before. So like the videos where people say they have no social life, they have no time for their friends, family to do fun things. That is very true because there were some weekends where I was like off work the whole weekend. I just wanted to do something fun with my boyfriend and my son at the time but i had to study i had to give up a lot of functions with my friends because i knew i had to study there was one time my friend asked me to go out and i was like girl i have a test on monday so i cannot go i have to study so you're gonna have to go from doing things you normally would enjoy to you know being a full-time nursing student and that is very like hard it is very hard and I really struggled with that when I first started nursing school, but eventually I was like, hey, your end goal is going to be good. If you make it through nursing school, you know, you're going to be financially stable. You're going to always have a job, a great career that you can move up in. So I always knew what my end goal was. The next thing is the long nursing school days, um, like the class days and lab days are very long versus the traditional classes you only have class like one to two hours if you're going in the fall if you're going in the summer the traditional class hours can go longer just because summer semester is shorter but nursing school you'll have class um i want to say the least amount of time was four hours for a, like one class and i've even had a class from like eight to three eight to five i've had class and lab days those were very long days we do get like an hour lunch break when they go past like 12 so that's a good thing but it was still a long day because after eating lunch you do not want to come back to class from one to three one to five to like do notes or anything so that was something to get used to again um because it's kind of like high school 
you have class all day long but as you progress on your class days will get shorter those long days are in the very beginning because you're learning a lot you're learning a lot of skills so once you get towards the end your class days will shorten to about three hours i want to say so if you can make it through those first couple of semesters then you'll be good the next thing i want to talk about is the grading scale every nursing school varies so at my school the grading scale was a c was considered a 75 or above so you had to have a 75 or above average to pass in those nursing courses i know some schools raise it to like a 78 and 80. i even saw one video where a girl was like her school's um grading scale you had to have at least an 85. so that is something different and something you want to keep in mind um you cannot just pass these nursing classes with a 70 or above unless your school requires that but at my school you had to have a 75 or above and that was something a lot of us had to get used to because a lot of people were used to making like 70s and passing their like traditional classes and going with that but nursing school is very different they have a lot more um different grading scales and then like certain tests will weigh more than other tests so that's another thing there were some tests you had to make really good on because the percentage weighed more in your average than like like a quiz or something if that makes sense so while talking about like the grading scale at my school tests were our only grades we didn't have classwork we didn't have homework we didn't have any of that and at my school your grades only came from your tests so either you knew it or you didn't when I first started at this college, they gave extra credit and you could get up to five points if you did the extra credit work, but they eventually cut that out because there were some people that were only passing with the 70 and then they ended up doing all the extra credit work and they got those extra five points, which boost their average to a 75. So essentially the teachers were like, these students weren't really even passing the test those five points just gave them the boost to pass on to the next semester. So they eventually cut that out when I like got past my, I want to say when I was about to finish LPN school, they said they were going to do away with it because when I went back to the same school for the RN program, those extra five points um were not there. Our only grades were from our test. And some schools may do like classwork and homework, but I just know at my school, your grades only come from tests. And I think a lot of other schools um, are going to start doing this as well. The thing I want to talk about is find your learning style. I wish I knew about this before I started nursing school because I was literally borderline up until I found my learning style in nursing school. Like I said, you have a lot of material on those tests. So you really need to find your learning style to know like, okay, this is what I need to do to study and absorb this material for the test. Because writing everything down, rewriting your notes, making flashcards is not going to work for everybody. I know everybody thinks that's the big thing, but it does not work for everybody. I was a visual learner and I used this program called pick money and also i do have a coupon code for you to get a discount on pick money's website i want to thank them so much for sending me this code because my teacher introduced us to this program when i was in towards like the end of my second semester of lpn school basically pick money is they use visuals um pictures um auditory videos with like different pictures to help you memorize the content my teacher had a pick money account and she would pretty much depending on what we were learning and studying at the time she would print off the pictures for us and then upload them into our canvas so we could like print them out ourselves or she would just print it for us at school so that we would have these pictures for like the content we were learning at the time and this when she introduced this to me, I want to say I made like an 85 on that next unit exam. I was like, I wish I had this sooner because I found my learning style. I am a visual learner. When I tell y'all I could like see that picture on the test, when I would have a test question, I would see those pictures like with hypothyroidism, hyperthyroidism, 
those pictures that they made, I could just memorize the picture and the signs and symptoms listed next to the picture. I was like, I have found my learning style. So I don't have to worry about anything for these next couple of tests because I know what I need to do. So if you are a visual or auditory learner, I highly suggest um, making an account for, with PicMonic and they have over a thousand visuals for you guys. And when I say it helped me out tremendously and I want to thank my teacher till this day because I felt like if she wouldn't have done this, I wouldn't have did as good for the rest of the semester as I did. The next thing is nursing school can be expensive. I really didn't look into the cost of nursing school until I actually like got in and went to that mandatory like orientation meeting when they broke down the cost of everything. I was like, oh my God, Pell Grant does not cover um your semester of nursing school like how it would a traditional class. Like you have to take out loans, you have to sign up for scholarships. It is very expensive because I was used to like my Pell Grant paying for all my classes. I didn't take out a student loan until I went to nursing school and I had to get more money because I needed money for gas, for clinicals. We had to like pay out of pocket for like things that we had to like buy from our teacher, like those nursing kits. When I first started, the teachers sold the nursing kits. So we had to like pay them but they saw that that was like a big problem because when I went back for my RM program, the nursing kids were sold at the bookstore and we could use financial aid. So that was something I saw that they changed, which was a lot better. But Pell Grant only did not um, cover nursing school. I had to take out loans. I applied for scholarships when I went back to school for my RN degree. So it can be very expensive. And I know everybody doesn't qualify for the Pell Grant. So you may want to like look into like scholarships or different things that your school may have because my school has like scholarships specifically for health science students and some that are just specifically for nursing students. So you need to look into that and talk to financial aid about those scholarships if um, funding is an issue for you. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is the competitiveness of nursing school. I've said this in a previous video, but nursing school is very competitive. When I first applied, I did not get in. In that denial letter, they told me they had like 250 plus applicants and they were only accepting 60. I did not reach those 60. I was like number 120 something like in line because they made like a spreadsheet and um scored everybody on how many points they had so nursing school is very competitive you know especially nowadays that people are more aware of like the travel nursing and the pay that nurses are making so many more people want to go to nursing school because of that is very very competitive and i didn't know about that because when i got that denial letter i cried i was like oh my god i did not get in and I was like, well, I'm just going to take some more basic courses to get my GPA up and get more points. And I got in the second time around. So if you don't get in the first time, do not give up. Just keep trying. Keep trying to get your grades up. Keep trying to get your, your points up. Keep trying to get your score up for your entrance exam. Just keep trying. Do not give up. And the last and final thing I want to talk about is nursing school is very stressful Yes, it can be very stressful on you, your friends, your family. If you're complaining to them about it all the time, it becomes stressful to them because they're like, oh my God, why don't you just quit if it's making you feel that way? But you just need to find a stress reliever. Um, Once you find that, like on some of your off days, try reading a book. If you don't want to read anymore, try going to the park, getting yourself a massage, doing something fun like a movie, dinner or just watching Netflix. That's when I signed up for Netflix when I was in the LPN program. And that's probably when it came out. I can't even remember. But that's when I found Netflix and found all of those C 
series. I would literally binge watch a series for like one whole day. And that was something I enjoyed doing on my time off um, on days that I just chose to do nothing um, nursing school related. So just try to find a stress reliever. Try to find something that's going to bring down those stressors because it can take a toll on some people. Some people end up quitting the program because of just being too overwhelmed and stressed out. So that is the final and last thing that I wanted to talk about that I wish I would have known before I started nursing school. Um, this list is not to scare anybody away from signing up to nursing school. I just want to make people more aware of things that I wish I would have known before I started nursing school. So if you'd like to know any other things about nursing school, comment down below and let me know what other videos y'all would like to see. And I will be sure to upload more content for you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I plan on doing a giveaway once I hit 3K subscribers. I am like 100 subscribers away from having 3,000 subscribers. So I'll post more details about the giveaway in the next video. Thank y'all for watching. I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye guys.